Hi Stampers, this is Kathleen. Welcome to another video for my YouTube channel and blog. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and have been so for 22 years. Today I just want to introduce you to this amazing new bundle that is available for purchase effective May 1st and this is um, out of the new catalog. So if you purchase it now you'll be able to get it before the catalog actually comes out. This bundle contains so many amazing products that I thought I would just quickly go through them. Um, if you go out to my blog at KathleenStamps.com, you'll see pictures of everything and um, a lot of things much more close up so you'll be able to get a better viewpoint. There are two distinct bundles available and that will all be laid out on my blog but today I'm just going to show you the products that will be included if you purchase the largest bundle. Okay, so to begin with you're going to be getting the new Eastern Beauty stamp set and again this is from Stampin' Up! It doesn't look like much until you start um, playing with it with the dies. Um, just remarkable dies, so awesome. And it's a photopolymer stamp set, so it's going to be really easy for you to line everything up nicely. And lots of little details, lots of items, little bitty stamps to put around these amazing medallions that you can make. So you would, the bundle includes this. It also includes the Eastern Medallion die uh, framelits. And this is, again, lots of different dies that interchange. So for example, if you wanted to cut out this die, you can use this one on the inside, or you can use this one on the inside, or you can put nothing on the inside. Just lots and lots of different varieties that you've made. Um, I played with a couple, um, by no means all that you can come up with, but I played with this combination. We're using this one and this one, and um, I used <laughs> I used this middle middle one, and you can see what it does is it punches out with these being elevated up, so it can give you some dimension to your card. Then I use this one, and um, which is this die, and then I used this middle die. And then, and I use this one for my center. And I cut it out uh, with a circle from our layering circles die to cut it out completely. If you didn't want, if you just wanted this on your card, it would come out. You could just stamp it on your card and it will come out like this. And all these little edges will lift up. But if you want this just by itself, then all you need to do is to go around and trim these little areas where it's attached and then it can be used as an embellishment on your card. And on this particular one I did not do the center of it like I did on this one and it's amazing. It looks just like a doily. Think of all the things that you can do with this. It's just awesome. Then I made this particular one. This is very similar to what is on the card that I'm going to show you today. But um, in fact, actually, this one is exactly what I used on my card. Sorry. And this was cut out the very outside edge of it um, with the scalloped edge from the layering circles. So this, really nice. And then this little guy that's right here. Um, this is using this die and this die and it will punch out and then you can see that you have all these little petals that you can pop up. Just adds so much interest to a card. Really, really cute. So let's get started. I also want to show you what comes with this bundle is you get the new Fresh Fig ink, the new Lemon Lime Twist ink and the new Tranquil Tide ink. You will get these amazing gold, Eastern Gold vinyl sheets. You get two of each design. Let me see if I can put this here, then you're able to see them. So these are vinyl stickers that you just pull off and could put onto your card. You can die cut through them as I did, and I'll show you that. You can have edges for card. Um, to put on your card 
and this one is just full of some really nice circle arrangements that you can do. So that would be also included in your kit. You will get these mini tassel assortments. Aren't they pretty? They're in the gold, the fresh fig, and the tranquil tide. And, oh, and then of course, there's designer series paper. So you got just some really beautiful papers. And this is using the dapper denim as a color combination. So lots of just really pretty papers that you can use. And then there's also this great gold paper that comes with it. Just really lovely papers. So all you have to do is go out to my blog and you'll be able to find some additional information and that will maybe encourage you to purchase one of the new bundles. So for today's card, we're going to be using the new Tranquil Tide. I'm using the Designer Series paper. You can see that I've used our gold foil or our, our gold foil cardstock and also the new vinyl, uh, gold vinyls that stickers that are here. I used a metal rimmed punch or pearl, sorry if I could talk right. And then on the inside of the card, let me show you right there, I used one, uh, again, I used a gold vinyl sticker to just add a little trim to the end of the card. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, the first thing that you're going to need will be a piece of Tranquil Tide cardstock. This is four and a quarter by five and a half, or excuse me, four and a quarter by 11, and it's scored at five and a half. And then we're gonna have our inside piece that is very vanilla, and it is four by five and a quarter. So let's go ahead and put our vinyl sticker. Let me get this a little closer so you'll be able to see what I'm doing. We'll get the vinyl sticker, and we're just gonna put this right on the edge of the card. And all I'm gonna do is try to line it up so it kind of ends equally on both sides. So you're just gonna push this down, make sure it's adhered nicely. And then I'm just gonna, you can cut off the edges or you can just push them toward the back, whatever you would like to do. And then after I have this down, I took my bone folder and I just burnished it to make sure that everything was down and nicely adhered. So we can go ahead and put this on the inside of our card. I want to thank you so much for stopping by today. If you're enjoying this video, I hope that you will give it a thumbs up. And I look forward to any positive comments that you might have for me. I do read them all, and I'm very appreciative of you taking your time to put them out there. Now we're going to take a piece of that um, Eastern Palace Designer Series paper, and I'm just going to run glue down each side to adhere my piece of gold. And then we'll just pick this up. And all I want is just a little bit of a border, just not much at all. Whoops, <laughs> I forgot this last time too. First thing I have to do is I have to put my ribbon on. Let me leave this so that it forgot that when I made my original card also put everything together then I was just kind of stuck so I'm going to go ahead and tear this down just want to make sure that it's going straight across your card which of course it's not <laughs> there we go Okay, there we go. Now we can go ahead and put on our gold strips. Just 
adhere this to the side of your card. And you'll notice that I made them just a little bit longer than my card or than my paper is, and that will help um, you to make sure that if it's, you know, you can cut off any extra that you might get. Oh, get this glued down. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Oh, sometimes they just don't want to cooperate. Okay, there we go. Now we can cut off the extra that we got. Sometimes it really helps to make these strips just a tiny bit longer rather than ending up with one side short and one side too long. Okay, now this is going to be mounted on our card. We just go ahead and put our adhesive on. And then it's just a case of making sure this is centered. Okay. So that part of our card is all done. <clears throat> now, to cut out this medallion, let me show you what I did. I used my Big Shot with a magnetic platform. Okay, and I have my gold piece of paper here somewhere. Just a sec, I'll go get it. Okay, so we're going to take on your magnetic platform. I'm going to put down the gold paper and then I'm going to use the first of all, I'm going to use my scallop circle and then I'm going to decide which dies I want to use and I'm going to use this one for the outside or the first circle that we have and then I think I'll just take, oh, this one will work just, well, I think I'll use this one this time. And this will just go on just like that. Okay. Now, when you get ready to run through this through the Big Shot, and if you are like me, all of your plates are very heavily scarred like this. So what happens is when you run it through the Big Shot, if you're working with a scarred plate, the Big Shot will transfer all those scars to the gold, and you don't want to see that. So you would want to put down a piece of um, copy paper down first, and then when you run it through, then those scar marks will not be transferred. Okay, so that's how we would do this die, and I've already run that through my Big Shot, and I have one right here. Then I also, because I wanted a backing on it, I didn't want to see the ribbon through. I didn't want to see the designer series paper through the die. So I cut out a piece of the Tranquil Tide um, with this, just the scallop circle. And we can go ahead and adhere those together. So for this, I'm going to just use my Tombow multi-purpose glue. And it just takes a little bit, just does not take much at all to get this to stay on. Because it's not at a place that's going to have any wear and tear on it. So you can just easily put this together with minimal amount of glue. Then all you have to do is line up your scallops. Okay. And we'll just let that sit for a second. One thing that is really nice about using the Tombow glue is you have a little slip time which enables you to get everything down really quickly and make sure that it's adhered properly. Now I did use dimensionals to adhere that so let me grab my tape. Well, today I'm going to use this fast fuse. I'm not finding my dimensionals quickly or excuse me, not fast views. I'm going to use this um, foam tape. 
Okay, so then we can go ahead and adhere this to our card. Alrighty, get that down nice. Now, to make this little element right here, what you're, oh, let me do this one first. I previously stamped the Enjoy Today stamp and embossed it in our gold embossing powder, and that's going to go right in the center. So we'll give that a chance to set up and to dry. All right, so we'll let that sit and dry. Now, for this particular element, what I did is, again, I took my Big Shot die, or my Big Shot, and using the magnetic platform, you're gonna take your paper, then what you're gonna do is you'll peel off a sticker and you'll put it on, just stick it right to your paper, you want to be really careful. These grab onto paper really quickly. So when you put it down, you want to make sure that if you're going to be cutting this out like I did, that you have enough of a distance. You don't want to put it way in the corner. You want to make sure that you have enough room around it for your die to cut out. So you're going to put this right on your Tranquil Tide paper. And then you're going to put on this combination of dies. You'll put this down. And then you'll put this and you'll run it through your Big Shot just like we did with a plate on the top and just go ahead and run it through your Big Shot and when you're done this is what you'll end up with. Isn't that cool? So the die will cut right through these little petals and what's really nice is because of the stability of the of the vel or of the vinyl because it's thick and um, it will actually help them to hold their shape as you push them up which is really cool you know sometimes you want these elevated and you just cannot get them to do that very well so all you have to do is push on them just like that okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to adhere this to our card Okay, gosh, I'm sorry. I'm right up out of count off of the camera. I did not realize that. So you're just going to put your 3M tape on the back or your dimensionals. And we're going to adhere this to our card. Okay, and so that will, we're just going to put this right here. And then just to jazz it up a little bit, I'm going to use one of the metal rimmed pearls. You just take the backing off of the pearl. They're all pre-adhesive, which is really nice. And then you can pick it up with your pokey tool and then just put it down right where you want it. It says here. <laughs> there we go. All right. There's our finished card for today. I'm so glad you joined me, and I hope you'll stop by my blog so you can get all the additional information about this new Eastern Beauty stamp set and this amazing Easter Palace suite that you can purchase from Stampin' Up. Bye.